really easy I just um, get my bangs wet over the sink kind of like section them out put my hair back and then my hairstylist said that you need to like comb one way and just use your fingers comb one way comb the other way and keep doing that back and forth until it's like you know 90% dry and then you just go down the middle keep going with this today but that's the one thing I love about bangs I feel like it automatically makes it look like you put more effort into your hair even though I did not <laughs> at all For my gut, because I have an H. pylori infection. Oh, there is a. Oh! Oh! There. There are tiny little red ants in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you little cuties. Come on. Oh my god, I don't want to kill you. You just have to get onto this, okay? No, you have to. I can't have you in there. Oh my God, where did you go? Oh my God, okay. I'm sorry. So I've been having bowel movement problems, okay? Whatever, this is chaotic energy this morning. Ugh. One of them, I don't know how I always take it wrong and I can like taste it. It tastes disgusting. Oh my God, okay. Ugh, Jesus. Woo! Bottoms up, am I right? <laughs> One thing I won't miss are you little fucking flies. You're annoying. Right. Okay, we're fine. We're going to living spaces. Don't look at her license plate, dude. Not supposed to see that. <laughs> Still need to find a bed frame, dresser, nightstands, and a sofa. I have an idea before you go in. I'm gonna spill this milk. Shake. No, you're not. No, they'll give us a discount or whatever, no. whatever it is. You ever heard break it, you buy it? Maybe for cheaper. Get it, baby. Whoa, biblical. <laughs> what do you think of this one? I like it. Sturdy? This shit would be comfortable. Close to the door. If you ever need to run. What if we got this candle for the house? What was the reason? <laughs> because we don't have to get another candle, we can just keep lighting this one. Why is it so fun? Oh my god. 50 bucks for a candle? Oh. I like the gradient. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, I don't smoke. Okay, pass that one over. <laughs> We are gonna take a moment to talk about our sponsors for today's video, and that is going to be Harry's. So thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually juiced to talk about this because this is actually my first time using Harry's razors after hearing about them for years. And I literally like, woo, this is, this is the real deal, holy feel. So one thing that's important to note straight off the bat is that Harry's is actually a unisex razor. It's their premium blades were actually manufactured in their own factory in Germany to give you the closest, smoothest shave possible. Like my legs have never been so soft before. But something else that I think is really cool is that on the top of the razor, they also have this new two-tone handle design, which is really cute. I got it in the sage color. Look, it's fair prices for a razor. They 
they want to make this accessible to everybody. You should not have to be spending an arm and a leg to get a very good close shave wherever you may need it. Razor refills are delivered directly to your door. They give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations and they have a 100% quality guarantee. So if you're not happy with it, you get your money back, but that's not gonna happen. You can redeem your starter set for just $3 by going to the link on the screen or clicking the link in my description box. All right, let's get on with the rest of the video. T minus nine days until we move. So we're at the Joneses right now. If you've been following me for a while, this is actually where I got my first nice expensive sofa it was actually this exact one like i think the size and everything it wasn't this color it was actually jc owns it now he bought it off of me but i got another sofa from them that's like this exact fabric but like only this big you guys have seen it in my place and it was fun while it lasted but it is so not working <laughs> when you're in a relationship and you want to cuddle up for movies it's just not very comfortable. So we're gonna figure out some pricing here. See if we can get something that makes sense for us. If not, the trip continues. Hmm? Do you think that they'll take IOUs? <laughs> Thanks. I like the material. Four thousand. Another day, another antibiotic, another Pepto -Bismo. another Pepto Bismo. Am I even recording? Oh yeah, I am. It's been a, a week, and I've already gone through two full bottles of Pepto Bismo, full size. We're back to get another two. realized that there is a method to this madness. I feel like if you just take it like a shot, then you don't even really know it's there. Shit, you almost ate the cup with it. Give me a shot of that shit. You, you're gonna take it? $3,096 but honestly I don't think it's that bad because like I said yesterday we were looking at a sofa that costs Seven double grand. that and that was one item we got our bed frame that was $6.95 we got our sofa which we found one that was perfect and it was $800 not $800 $1,800 or $1,900 and then what else did we get? Oh, we got the box spring. box spring, which was like 195 And it's all gonna get delivered on our move-in date, which is like kind of the most important thing. And then we also are ordering the bar stools. The oh yeah, we're ordering our Amazon bar stools. We're getting those on Amazon for like two, $2.25, I wanna say. I got my pop yellow in there. Oh, got yeah, my yeah. Pop he got the pop of yellow. That's kind of it for now. Our biggest goal was to just get the fundamentals, the things that make the place function because we've been sleeping on the floor um, basically since we've been together. If anyone is wondering what it's been like getting dairy-free snacks and half the time gluten-free, it's not fun. It's not that bad. No, it's not. You're today, eating but Korean today, barbecue chips right now. It's good. But today I felt it. Like, and you can have some you want it too. I know. But I bought this payday bar and I was like all excited about it, but it has fucking skim Dude, milk in it. You are the one person in the world that says they're excited to get a payday bar. <laughs> My mom used to really like these. I know, nobody really eats them. And did you guys know Tootsie Rolls have dairy in it? They do? Yeah, I googled it. It's kind of wild. It's like you guys can't give me anything. Give the cows a break. I don't think I'm going to be dairy free for the rest of my life. I think I'll like greatly, greatly reduce like even more than what I was already doing, but like Life is rough right now. You just talked about buying all this new furniture, moving into this expensive apartment. No, not like that. Just eliminating foods, it's not easy to do. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm gonna go eat some pizza though. 
Just to note, these are not mine. This has Ryan written all over it. All right, before we end this video, I feel like it would be nice to just kind of update you guys on some changes that are happening. I feel like this year has been a year of so much change. You know, I technically got into a relationship last year, but me and my, my boyfriend, my partner moved in together. We are now leaving this space and getting a new apartment together. I cut bangs. <laughs> I turned 28. I have shifted, you know, my content a lot. I've distanced myself from a lot of people and also gotten closer to a lot of people. I mean, there's just been so many, so many changes, but they've all been for the better. And I think a huge part of it is just that I'm growing up and no shade to anyone or anything in my life that is no longer a part of it, but I think that a lot of my values and morals have changed and the way that I like to spend my time and the things that I like to do. And I have a, an amazing relationship now that I just absolutely cherish with everything in me. And it's been so great first of all, to just see how many of you have just loved and accepted Ryan into my life and into the community and into my channel because I see your guys' comments and man, I don't think anyone's ever said anything mean about him. <laughs> like you guys just adore him and it's hard not to. I mean, look at the way he loves me and the way that I love him. It's very, very special. I wanted to give you guys a final update. I am going to be shutting down Hot Rose. If you guys know or don't know, I haven't talked about Hot Rose in a long time, but Hot Rose, I started, it was like my pandemic business baby that I started. Any boutique that you shop at, like especially locally owned ones are very likely, like 99% of them buying from wholesale and they buy it in bulk and then they resell it and it's like curated fashion. There's a lot of reasons that I'm not doing this anymore, but I think the main thing is that I'm just not really passionate about it. It was something that I was really excited to do a couple of years ago and I'm so happy I did it and it was so fun and it definitely had its rise but I have other things that I want to put my focus and my energy into. But yeah, Hot Rose will be ending. Once my move is complete on Monday, uh, later that week, I will be doing a huge blowout sale on whatever denim and you know tops and stuff that I have left. Everything will be like significantly marked down and basically that'll be final sale and the end of it. If you guys want, you can go to the website and subscribe to the emails because I'll probably do an email blast when that sale drops, but I'll post about it on Instagram Instagram and TikTok and stuff too. But thank you for any of you who did buy from Hot Rose and loved, you know, the, the pieces as much as I did. It's just the end of an era in a lot of ways and the start of something new. I feel blessed to have experienced what I did for that time. I feel like that's kind of the big thing that I wanted to update you guys on because all the other changes, they've been happening, but it's been over the course of several months. So this is like the big final thing that I will be ending. I'm excited for what's next and I'm excited for just this new chapter in my life because I I feel like I deserve this and I am jumping in. I am diving in head first, ready for whatever is coming my way and I feel so lucky and I feel so blessed. And I think the final thing I wanna say is just a thank you. I fully recognize that my audience is probably my age and you guys have grown up with me. If you've been around from the beginning, you have literally grown up with me from like the age of, what, 19, 20 years old. You guys have gone through college. You guys have started your careers. Some of you have gotten married. Some of you have had babies. Some of you have made it through terminal illness. And I just want you to know I'm grateful that I got to be a part of that entire journey with you guys because I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. So yeah. I love you guys, and thank you again to Harry's for sponsoring today's video.